AES, the very first minute, the very first hour of the first day of AES 2008 here in San Francisco. First of all, we have Sapphire Pro 14, new at the show today. It's um, actually it went on the website last night about midnight, I know, because I typed the last few words. Um, Sapphire Pro 14, the, our latest firewire interface, 20 in, 20 out audio interface, featuring the dice chip as well. Uh, Sapphire Pro 40 features eight Focusrite mic pre's. Uh, that's important because Focusrite do pre's. Unlike a lot of other brands out there, this is something we've been doing for about 20, over 20 years now. So the Sapphire Pro 40 features eight mic pre's, along with 10 analog line outputs, eight ADA outputs, and two SPDIF outputs. So that's, that's your 20 I.O. if we look at the ADA and the SPDIF as I.O. But wait, there's two I.O. missing. Well, there's two inputs missing. And they're here, that's the loopback inputs. It's a virtual input that allows you to route audio from another software application through the Sapphire Pro unit. Kind of like a, a, a rewire, but physical rewire. Without any latency, of course. So running through the unit, in terms of the hardware on the front panel, walking left to right, you've got your two mic inputs. These are combi inputs, I'm gonna pull one out. So the line or microphone XLR inputs. Phantom power in two banks, one to four, five to eight. The first two super channels feature instrument inputs as well with a nine dB pad. There's your other um, level controls for the other mic breeze. And then we have this gorgeous <laughs> metering display on, on the front of the unit. Uh, it's a five LED metering display. Two headphone outputs on the output, each with its independent level control and a monitor output. If we come away and we start to look at the software control for, for the Sapphire Pro 40, it starts to make you realize just how flexible this monitoring here is. The monitoring section of Sapphire Pro 40 control allows you to choose monitoring presets, 2.1, 5.1, or stereo, and it automatically sets them up. But if you're not happy with that, you want to change, you can just switch different lines on, off, at the click of a button. As well as that, you can make this hardware controller control any one of these output selections. So very flexible monitoring. So Sapphire Pro 40 control, the control software behind Sapphire Pro 40, allows you to route just about anything to anywhere. It's a lot more flexible than any other software at this price point. So you have all your different mixes up here. You can create 16 different mixes of any input, DAW or analog input, and send them to any selection of outputs. And that's not restricted to stereo pairs. That's any input or DAW input to any output or mix thereof. So that's the, the control software. That's the hardware. That's Sapphire Pro 40, the best sounding, most flexible and reliable interface in its class.